Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jim Grimes. And I'm Liz Kidantis. We begin tonight with new changes that are coming to Florida's classrooms. Schools are now required to teach the history of communism to kids starting as early as kindergarten. We asked CBS 12's Victoria Cardenas to find out how exactly do we teach five-year-olds about a failed political system. She joins us from West Palm Beach with more. Victoria? Florida schools already teach about different forms of government, including communism. But now there are questions about how this complex subject will be explained in kindergarten. We're going to tell the truth about communism in the state of Florida. We're going to tell the truth about the evils of communism. Governor Ron DeSantis signed a new bill into law that would require the history of communism to be taught to all Florida students, including kindergartners. According to the bill, the lessons will be age appropriate and developmentally appropriate. Topics include the history of communism in the United States and the atrocities committed in foreign countries under the guidance of communism. Not exactly pre nap time material. This bill today gives us the opportunity to ensure that we learn history so that our students in Florida are not apt to repeat that history and really understand the evils of co communism. We have a history of, of, of educating people about communism in the public schools of Florida. It's very appropriate. Director of Teacher Education at Palm Beach Atlantic University, Timothy Ladd, says the best way to handle this with young students is through children's books. The best way to teach history to little people is through books that include characters who are either their age or just slightly older. Since social studies are a part of every grade level, including civics and economics, teachers will be instructed on the best way to handle it. I believe the bill asks the Department of Education to develop appropriate standards. Um, we already have appropriate standards in the four strands of social studies, and so the teachers will, will wait to see what the specific standards are and then they'll be able to implement them in an appropriate way. So even a professor who teaches teachers isn't exactly certain on how this is going to be handled with the snack time and nap crowd in kindergarten, but they have plenty of time to figure it out. This anti-communism curriculum for all grade levels won't be implemented until fall of 2026. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Victoria DeCardenas, CBS 12 News. Thanks, Victoria. Now, we do want to note that we do know that communism is spelled with a C. We were spelling it with a K as a play on words. And if you have any questions or concerns about your child's education, CBS 12 News wants to hear all about it. You can call us our classroom tip hotline, the number right there on your screen, or you can email us classroomtips at cbs12.com.